Hello everyone, my name is Zirkani Krulz and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So last we left off we had our slave friends that we rescued and are nursing back to health. Since no one claimed Duster here, I am going to name him after my latest patron and that would be Sage. Apologies Sage that you get to have a male colonist but that is how the cookie crumbles, we really don't uh, get to pick and choose here. So welcome to the colony, Sage. Any others that join and stay uh, will be, you know, either named after someone who wants to take them as their name or just left with the default name. So Sage here is fine. Uh, they're going to need a bedroom, which means this working area really needs to be moved and I'm thinking there's quite a good space for that right over here one that uh, if we do use it will make um, will make uh, raids attacking the hospital quite less possible that was a word and I do know English why do you ask uh, that means we are going to get two new bedrooms because we can use both of these spaces. I might keep one as a prisoner's room until we have um, someone else that needs it. I don't think these two were supposed to stay. Uh, you're definitely not. And you, you're a pessimistic pyromaniac, but you're not that bad. Hmm, do you have any health problems? A uh, crack in the left, humorous, a lot of stab scars. Uh, no, pessimistic pyromaniac, I really don't feel like dealing with all those mood breaks. So no, this person is not staying with us. No, everyone's off to sleep and we need to fix that, that thingy. We also need to get this tree cut because it's blocking the wind. Uh, yeah, so lots of things to take care of. Sage uh, still has tattered apparel because uh, they haven't been over to our storage area to get uh, their newest apparel. Uh, hopefully uh, they will do it soon and we'll mine this out, we'll transfer things. Uh, might as well change this trading spot. Where would it be a good place? I think around here because they'll be between our defenses and the base so let's do that and uh, I'll bring you back when there's something new to report. So they finished mining up and we've set up the new walls with two doors up on each side. Now we did have a little bit of an issue with things deteriorating because they were counted as outside for a little bit but now that is solved we can make sure they're building a roof over here uh, and cutting these trees hopefully yeah tree cutting yes good uh, and then all we need to do is reinstall this and this over here to this side well as the little chair and the wooden dining chair. Then we are going to need, of course, whoa, that, that, was, that was a lightning strike. Uh, we're going to need a new dumping stockpile, which will be all over the place here. And I, well, I'm going to remake it. Let's, so let's look at it. We're going to want it to be like a priority normal, I suppose, yeah, because those are normal as well. Uh, what is this But Oh, go to. Okay, good. Uh, and it will be for chunks of stone and steel. And also, uh, blocks. Stone blocks. Yeah, mostly. Uh, hopefully those stone blocks will then be moved over here. Because I think that, yeah, this is preferred. Good. So that works, and I can remove these. Just delete that. We also get more space for the um, 
um, stone chunks and stuff, which works out very well. Uh, we're out of power, I suppose, uh, because we don't have the components to repair these, which is really bad. I suppose we could start, since we have the ancient danger done here, we could start doing some branch mining. Yeah, and try and grab the hidden components that are probably in there. Hmm, that is an option. Uh, for now, let's... didn't I? Okay, let's delete that. Let's build another wall. And there we go, that will make two bedrooms and we can move Sage over. Just need to have these blocks all hold up to the other room. And good, good, that's it. Now over here, we need to start branch mining, which means we need to uncover these things inside. So over here on this side, I don't think we have anything hidden. So we'll start counting from here and we'll count one, two, three, and we'll mine the next one. Why? Because, uh, well, we can already see this one. So we need to uncover this one. And if there's a vein anywhere around here, it will probably touch one of the blocks over here, which means uh, that mining this line, we will see the vein and then we can mine it through. Now we have a raid, a group of pirates attacking immediately and they're right on top of us. That is not good. Um, where is Garrett? Okay, Garrett, I am actually going to need you to come over here and try to be safe in there. Uh, okay, who else? Kristen and Marcus, I need you all to be ready as soon as possible. Trayvon and Blade, come over here. Sage doesn't have a... Um, a weapon yet, so they're going to flick the switch and Zakira will come down here. Uh, we're missing Felix, who is uh, right up there. Um, Felix, you're going to come... You're going to come over there and then come around to here and stand with Garrett. If they go inside there, uh, you can be the one to protect Garrett. So let's get that going and hopefully, uh, where is my bonded alpaca? Naomi, go inside please. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Wow, those drop pots took forever to, to jump. I don't think we have enough power to get the turrets going actually, so let's uh, disable these machines, sage, um, prioritize that and that and that, hopefully that will help out, uh, not having all that good, that good, uh, that much success I don't think. Hopefully it also sounds like we are not going to need our turrets, which is good. Uh, I would like y'all to kill the guy who's still around here. There we go. And then y'all can go over there. Uh, Trey one, not you, not you, not you. You do that, not you, and not you. There we go. So hopefully they will shoot fall, and uh, that also means Sage, you you don't have to do the thing anymore. Okay, so that works. Uh, we definitely need the the power fixed somehow, eventually. They're going to shoot fall, and there we go. Are they a good colonist? Well, they're. Very good at shooting. They're iron-willed, uh, sickly, but it adds to their medical. 
That's really good shooting. Uh, oh, but they have a bunch of bad stuff. So no, any good gear on them? Yes, a hyperweave button down shirt. So Kristen, if you don't mind, go uh, strip that person and then finish them off, I suppose. All right, so that, that engagement went well. Uh, nothing bad happened. We can continue to set up our mining. So again, we count one, two, three, and mine the one above, and so on and so forth, until we have the entire thing uh, uncovered. So one, two, three, and a fourth over there. I heard that. The one, two, three, and it's the fourth. And one, two, three, and it's the fourth. So on and so forth. Again. Actually, this one is almost done, so I'll just do it on camera right now. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and the fourth. It's a steel wall. One, one, two, three, and well, this is going to just be steel, but whatever. For the sake of completionism. All right, so they're going to do that. Hopefully, they will find us some. Uh, components. Uh, we need that. I also need to allow some corpses in here. So human corpses, human-like. There we go. Uh, they will be brought there so that they can be tore up by the, the thing. Uh, we can't really have anything else that builds power because of the components. Uh, can turn this off. There's no need to have that producing chem fuel since we can't use it. Mm. And they have an exotic goods trader. Huh. Well, I was gonna cut, but might as well wait for them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully this doesn't break down anytime soon. Uh, and hopefully that exotic goods trader will have some components. Now let's look at our numbers. Our trade price improvement here is Sage, the one that is going to come trade. So come on Sage, do the thing for us. So again, we're going to say market value. We have some plasteel and we actually need to buy plasteel, so we're going to do that. Uh, we have some gold and we don't need it, so we're going to sell. Uh, package survival meals you need. Components. Yes, thank you. Very good. Glitter world meds we will also take. Uh, large slate sculpture we can sell. Advanced components. Uh, we don't need them, but they will become useful in the future, so I think we're going to keep it. Also going to keep these um, sculptures, uh, because that's what we got them for. It's to sell. Uh, we're going to buy that psychic shock lens. Might be useful. Uh, yeah, we're gonna buy it because it, it will be useful eventually. The psychic animal pulsar would also be useful, but uh, we're going to just leave that one. Uh, bionic ear, bionic spine. Um, I'm going to keep the bionic spine. And, um, and everything else, I think we're good. Hmm, bionic ear, maybe. Nah, nah, we're good. We're going to sell and buy a bunch of stuff and we're still going to make a profit, which is great for us. I do want that hold in urgently uh, because uh, they're going to deteriorate and I don't want that. Now these people will be burnt up. And now we can move Sage up to uh, their new bed. Actually, let's do it like this. And Felix, for some reason, that, that's a little bug with um, Priority Builder. Like, these things are built, so why are they still... They still have the circle. I have no idea. Uh, we built that, and then we built a copy. And we're going to make it good. Also, the same thing with the bedside table. And then we are going to need a sculpture. We sold all of ours, but that's fine. Tray 1 is already hard at work. 
making another one. So we are going to make use of it soon enough. Well, while that happens, I'm going to set up Sage here. And also, I can actually just build a copy. Build a copy. Uh, make a new one for prisoners. Going to have to set down some flooring though, which that's fine. Just set it up here. Not covering the smooth floor over there. I think that is smooth floor. Uh, smooth surface. Oh, there's some here that wasn't smooth, but the rest is. Uh, I can also smooth the floor here, just so that when people are working here it's slightly better. Maybe even tile over this, this spot over here. Did I miss any of them? No. Okay, uh, so people can do that. Um, things will hopefully get fixed. One of them has been fixed. Uh, and we need components, so they've been taken for something else. Like this shield belt, can you not please? That, that's a component that uh, needs to be used to fix the... Um, the solar panel. Yes, good. Fix it, please. Thank you. Uh, why is it not outputting power? Um, hello? Output zero watts. Um, oh, okay, it's fixed now. I'm pretty sure there's no roof in that area. Right, yeah, no roof. Okay then. Uh, is this going to be built though? It apparently is not and we've already used our components. Probably to fix stuff. Yeah, not the best. Not the best. But at least it allowed for something. Okay, so I'm going to activate that again. And hopefully uh, there will be something to do. Do I want to keep that one producing? I don't think so. I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, have we burnt off all the corpses? We have, so I can turn off that and keep the, um, the power flowing, hopefully, to the batteries. So now, uh, I'm just actually going to cancel that because there is no point uh, since uh, this will be facing a inside the room, that's what I mean. Oh, uh, I can English, I definitely can. Looks like the colonists are throwing a party and um, yeah, this recreation room is starting to look very, very tiny. I think it's about time we make a bigger one. However, looking at the base, the only place I can see it being is around here somewhere. So maybe I should just make like an exit over here, like I can grab, actually let, let's grab the planning thing. So if I start over here, that's three in front, so one, two, three, and then one down and out, and then one, two, three, so one, two, three. And then from that it's two forward. There we go, and then it's a nine. Nine. That's a little bit too big, isn't it? But you can easily do... Well... Well, you can do that and then square it off over here. Uh, but instead of making it all the rec room, we can make it a continuation of the mausoleum. So yeah, that, that sounds good to me. And then the entrance will be somewhere around here, right? And that means we are going to mine this place. Mine it all over there and start using the slate walls. You come over here and there, there we go, and 
that should be okay. Let me zoom out a little bit. That does look okay, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of looks like, like it's matching. So, I'm just gonna continue it over here. And... Well, I'll leave it there. Uh, let's make it a wood door over here. And... Over here as well, because... Um, just going to be an, an interior area. Then we can just grab a the smooth thing. Uh, so structure, not structure, floors maybe. Yeah, let's smooth the surface here and then the floors. But we'll leave the floors for uh, another time. We are going to have to protect this area, and hope, thankfully we can. Just do sandbags across here and uh, the slate traps along the, the entirety of this place. I don't think we'll have much trouble on this side, but uh, if it happens we, we have some defenses going over there. Most of the attacks are happening uh, from the top coming down or from over there. As some of them come from over here, but they still tend to go over there. We'll because you know there's exposed stuff over here, so we'll have to see. We also have cargo pods, which are mega slot wool. That's that's pretty valuable and good to make stuff with. So we're going to take that. Uh, while they work over here, they also need to haul things. Hopefully we won't have any raids trying to come into the base from there. Uh, does that mean I should perhaps deconstruct this wall over here? And just make the place more open? Uh, probably not. No, I'm gonna leave it. If we need the materials, which I sincerely doubt, then I'll think about uh, destroying that wall. This is kind of a weird corner, but eh, you know, materials and stuff. So, oh, I uh, forgot over here. We are going to need a steel wall. Uh, not a steel wall, a steel door. I mean, steel wall. It's so bad. Uh, and actually, that, that wall is not in the right spot. Uh, it should be over here to match the center of this corridor. I guess we can put a statue or something over there. Maybe a little shelf food weaponry. Ooh, yeah, I like that idea. We can do... Smooth the floor over there. And then go into furniture and grab ourselves a marble shelf and construct it in the wrong place. No. Uh, here. Let's make it a... Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what quality it is. We are out of marble? Really? There's so much marble here. Why... Why is no one making marble chunks? Is this home area, by the way? Well, it is now. Uh, yeah, we'll... I'll do that. Very good. Um, why was no one making marble blocks? Seriously. Oh, because we're using up all the slate. That's fine. I guess they'll make the marble blocks uh, afterwards. Are these set to drop on floor? They are. And we do have a raid. Oh, Cassandra. Oh, Cassandra. And it probably really is in that one spot. Well, well, uh, well. Well, we can, um... Felix, can you move out of the way, please? We can put Kristen there. We can put... Let's put Marcus down here. Uh, Sage still doesn't have a weapon. Oh my god, lord, I'm so bad. Uh, can put Trey one over there. Uh, blade will come down he down here. Garrett, please stay inside. And Zakira can also come 
and come over here to the door because they will be coming down sooner or later uh, now sage uh, you do have a decent shooting so i want you to take looking at the stuff here we pretty much only have bows so you can take the pump shotgun actually let me draft you first and then you can come here all right let us see how this goes common do have animals over there so they might split okay so far so good they're being shot at obviously okay uh things are not going to go very well so let's move trey one and kristen back and felix uh, we'll come over here for now and then he and Sage will trade places. We've managed to get one person down. So that's good. Now Sage, please come over to the middle while Felix goes into there. And they have arrived over here. So how do we want to do this? Well, I definitely want a blade to be somewhere over there. Uh, Marcus needs to pull back. And they are fleeing, so Marcus did get some wounds. Hopefully, not too many. Now, Felix, uh, you can come melee attack that person while everyone else goes into a better spot to shoot the fleeing people or at the very least that one up oh. i have a cat on my lap and she's rubbing herself all over the place including the keyboard and there we go so successfully uh, fought off those people with minimum injuries and unfortunately that is all the time i have for today so if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to click that subscribe button for more rimworld and until next time please remember that here there be dragons thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible click the patreon logo to become one of these fine folk and if you enjoyed the video here are some more youtube things you would like don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.